Grand Citation Minimum Requirement, please. 2007, Full Coronal Halo. Ah! 2017, Coronal Void. Okay, well, we don't have the date exactly, but we have July. We have the year. Time? Was it SDO or stereo? Why is this significant? Where are the URLs? Where's all of the citations that are included with every single image since they started posting this on the net so that you couldn't claim the wrong year and the wrong equipment? He said knowingly. The Grand Solar Minimum Channel GSM Citation Supernova 2010 SDO, the Solar Dynamics Observatory, was launched. So it couldn't be an image from the SDO for 2007 because it wasn't freaking in orbit. 2006, Stereo, the Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory, was launched. Stereo B died in 2014, so if you got a 2017 image, it has to be Stereo A. So now that we're comparing apples to oranges and A's and B's and C's and SDO versus Stereo, and you already know I'm going to do this, um, dear uh, Jake and Marie of the Grand Solar Minimum Channel, I don't care if you got a citation please response from me about some image you're posting for someone else who didn't include it, but you have misled your flock, you crazy flockers, and um, I'm calling you on it. By the way, you are fail at the one minute mark on that video. Post a retraction video explaining that the assertion Jake made was not correct or not true. Yes, true thing. He said, those images, well, that's just what happened in seven years or ten years. Right, that's what happened in ten years. Um, I'm going to give you a little hint here. I phonied up this image so you can't flag it. Those are both from the same year. Jake. Next. I'm sure you'll look from the pixels. So anyway, besides making the sun twerk, I want to point out something really quick about NASA's websites. Dear NASA, fire every one of your freaking web authors, you freaking Neanderthals. Thank you. Praise be the twerking blue sun. Next. The Smurf sun is here. It's a pretty image. I had to use it. Next. This is the SDO data page. AIA304 angstroms. Yes, you pronounced the word right, Jake. That means wavelength. Is that heat? Is that solar irradiance level? Is that ultraviolet? Oh, yeah. You'd have to look those up. I'm not going to look them up because that's not what's needed here to disprove the first image. Did I tell you something important? Next. This is the raw directory to get the images I'm using. I'm using July, uh, July 2017 and July 2007. And I'm doing the 15th of the month and I'm randomly picking an image that's 1024 by whatever and at 304 angstroms. In this case, this one here is 210K. Now here's the one for stereo. You may have noticed that it includes a very large flaming, exploding, pooing all over your assertion hint. Stereo ahead, E-U-V-I, E-U-V-I, I wonder what that means, 304 angstroms, 2017 July 15th at 2300 hours. And right next to it is an image called SDO, 304 angstroms, it looks different from the same day. Hint, freaking hint, it's two different sources of images. Don't believe me? This is 2007, before stereo, yeah, stereo ahead and stereo behind, one of them died. So when one of them died, they went ahead and substituted information from SDO in some of the frames. So they're on the same page. But you couldn't have found it in 2007 without noticing that that's not SDO. Oh, well, this is a simple, innocent mistake. There are no such things as innocent mistakes when you hold everybody to totally different standards than you're willing to take. So Stereo Head is the only one of working. Stereo Behind is dead. But anyway, there's Stereo Head on the right side originally. And in the middle was just a repeat of both images kind of snarled together to give a better image, I guess. Or a different timing. 
anyway as you can see from the pixels let's just go back to that again 2017 July 15th stereo head and SDO had different looking images in the same angstrom range because they're doing it differently they're also at different angles they're going to look different and it would be impossible for you not to notice this if you looked up any of the data that took me maybe 10 minutes they're different data sets from different pieces of equipment on literally different sides of the damn star we're talking about and let's go back and look at these pixels again those are not equivalent images not because it's 10 years apart but because they were taken with different pieces of equipment different exposure levels and you guys have to post a retraction apologizing to your flock and state factually you were corrected by WAPTEC. Next. Again, same day, different image, both the same angstrom range. Angstrom does not equal brightness. And there we are again, 2007. And you may have noticed, let's just flap back and forth. The brightness levels are actually not much different. But let's do some real comparison. Yes, Jake and Marie of the Grand Solar Minimum channel. This is 2007 brightness level in EUVI 304 Angstrom stereo ahead. This is stereo behind 2007. Not much difference. You can't claim it's one side of the sun or another. It's not a spotlight. Next, obviously 2017. Now here's the fun part. I could have faked that. They're almost identical. Your argument's invalid. Post an apology in your video. Post an apology to your vlog. And of course, 2017, July 15th. Obviously, this is SDO and it looks darker. It isn't the grand solar minimum. It's that you guys didn't do any damn backup work. You didn't do any citations and you took information from someone who calls himself the, 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 the solar minimum farmer or whatever. Oh, well, you can claim you didn't do anything wrong. No, you can't because Jake said, well, they're equivalent. No, they're not. This is not apples to oranges. This is apples to hamsters. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.